Thank you for joining this short webinar showing you how to identify the declaration category when making an import declaration using the Customs Declaration Service. This is step one of a series of short webinars taking you through the Customs Declaration Service guidance on completing an import declaration. This table sets out the step by step guides we'll be covering in this series. We'll be showing you screenshots from gov.uk. HMRC is constantly improving the digital experience of our customers, so you may find that some of these screenshots will be slightly different to those that you'll see on gov.uk. This webinar series follows Hallie, who is importing children's t shirts into Great Britain from the USA. She has her own software product which means she can submit her own declarations via the Customs Declaration Service. Her t-shirts will be entering free circulation in Great Britain. We'll be following her journey throughout this series as she makes her first import declaration using the Customs Declaration Service. The Customs Declaration Service Instructions Guidance was rebranded in May 2022 and was previously referred to as Navigate the UK Trade Tariff, CDS Volume 3 for imports. Halley's first step is to start with the Import Navigation Guide, which gives step-by-step -step instructions to how to complete the import declaration. Once Halley has selected the appropriate link, she will see the 10 steps she'll need to follow for her to submit a valid declaration. It's important that Hallie follows the steps in order, otherwise her declaration will fail validation. Hallie will also need to consult the GB tariff supplement, as well as the navigation guide, as part of the import declaration process, which she can access using this link. The GB Tariff Supplement contains changes made to declaration completion procedures since Great Britain left the EU on the 31st of December 2020 and is frequently updated. For businesses based in Northern Ireland, the Northern Ireland Tariff Supplement would need to be used instead. In order for Halley to select the correct declaration category for her goods, she will need to use Appendix 21. The link to this is in Step 1 in the Navigation Guide. Halley selects this link. The link will open Appendix 21, Introduction to Declaration Category Datasets Guidance. Hallie can then select a declaration category relating to the movement of her goods. In turn, this will identify the data elements she needs to complete on her import declaration. The Customs Declaration Service requires completion of data elements which replace the boxes on the Customs Handling of Import and Export Freight or Chief System. Halley selects Appendix 21, Introduction to Declaration Category Datasets, and scrolls down the instructions in Appendix 21 to find the description of the declaration category. As her goods are going into free circulation in the UK following import from the USA, she will need to use Declaration Category H1. Now Hallie has selected the correct declaration category, H1, for the children's t-shirts. Her next step is to identify the correct commodity code. Watch our next video to find out how to identify the right commodity code.